I'd been up in Barrow covering a alleged grooming scandal. A young white girl had said she'd been raped by lots of Muslim men, yeah? I'd gone up there for a week trying to investigate it as a journalist. It actually turns out, in my eyes, the girl's lying. In your eyes? Yeah. Okay. Um, the girl's lying. There's a court case coming out soon. Um, Which is, once again, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. This is just not him being biased like you're actually saying there was a No, I went up there. Do you know what I went up there? And as I walked, yeah. into, his, I walked into his geezer's house, um, Mohammed. So I turned up. I started asking lots of questions. I found out lots of suspicious stuff about the girl and her family. Mm. Um, and then I... So then I would reach out to the Muslim men that would be in there. Bearing in mind that I went... Up, one, one lad turned up with an English lad who, who was from London. And he said, Tommy, I'll follow everything you do, bruv. I'm telling you now. This man's a good man. Yeah. His business has been destroyed because of these allegations. Yeah. These aren't allegations of... So I face allegations of racism, yeah? Different, and I don't like it, yeah? But when I went into this Muslim fella's house, I turned up and I'm walking in and someone shouts, you fucking racist, yeah? And then some girl shouts at him, you paedophile. I said, brother, I won that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I won that one, man. But as I went in this house, I sat down, this son was there, 16, had to leave college. And I sat and saw what had happened to them. And, I, and I, bearing in mind, I've already found out five, six things that don't add up with this girl. So then I, I thought, do you know? And I, what I said to him, he goes, why are you here? I said, mate, if you're innocent, if this isn't true, yeah, mm. I want to be the person that lets people know it's not yeah, true. You yeah. should have all people. Yeah, uh, and people will listen to me. Yeah. So in this town, people will listen to me Yeah, it, on this issue. And so far, I've seen this, this, this. I've seen five, six different things. And, it's a, and then, so as I'm in this house, I've got someone trying to find the girl's stepdad. Because the girl's family are lying to everyone on this show. So this girl's family have done this big campaign. It's called Justice for Ellie. And they're pumping all these stories out. And, the, and so are lots of people on our side of politics, yeah? People mm. who are trusted as well. Maggie Oliver was one of them, yeah? Maggie Oliver, they're all pumping... Maggie Oliver's the person who, who helped unveil grooming scandal as an ex-police officer. So they're all pumping this story. And I know the dad knows of five other occasions that this girl's lied on right. serious issues. Mm. So I'm trying to find the dad. So I've got someone... And, and I'm in this Muslim's house and we're sitting down. His, his wife's there. His kids are there. And, um, and then my phone rings and says, I'm not, he's, he's in the uh, KFC car park. Yeah? I've got someone following him. So I said, all right, I'm on my way. So I rush up, shooting over. I get out of the car and I go up to him. I say, when you get... And I've got all this footage. I said, when are you going to tell the British public the truth? Yeah? When are you going to stop lying to them? Because I know you're lying. Yeah? Mm. And he's like, what? He's expecting me to be up there just... But I've already done a week of research and, 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 and interviews with lots of people up so there. Of it anyway. So I said, when are you going to tell the truth? And then as I do that, someone, like, some boy's on his bike, he goes, you racist prick. Just the usual fucking soy boy, long hair mess. So I said, mate, fuck off, yeah? And then he spits in my face. So as he spits in my face, I hit him a couple of times. Put him on, put him on he falls off his bike. As he falls off his bike, I've then got back in the car. We've left. I've gone back to the Muslim fella's house. I'm like, bruv, man. I said, you ain't believe what just happened. I said, what? And then you see blue sirens all outside. Oh, man. I said, I just punched some bloke up in the car park. He spat in my face, called me racist. And I, but my mate's videoing all this. So the cameraman says, police all outside. My mate rings me. I'm laughing my head off because my mate rings me up. He goes, bruv, police around the car. So I look out the window and police are all around, all around his car. Yeah, and I'm thinking, so then I'm laughing. And then I said, my mate says, what should I do with the footage? He goes, shall I delete the footage? I said, no, don't delete the footage. I said, give me the, and we take this, take the, chip out I put the chip somewhere where the police ain't gonna get it yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, they, you know, man, it, and I had it and my, the Muslim fella's like Tommy told me to take you out the back door and get you out of here and I'm like I said no nah, it's alright because they're just gonna, they'll just come to my house yeah. and my mate Riggs he goes they're nicking me they're nicking me and I'm laughing yeah? and then um, I look at the cameraman the cameraman's literally white yeah? pale white mm. and I look at the Muslim fella I said, and the Muslim goes the Mus- Muhammad goes have you ever been arrested before Cameron's like, this is my camera on the second day. Yeah? He's like, no. <laughs> I said, you're about to get arrested. Bob. Yeah. You're welcome to the... Is well- he surprised? He's a part of your team. This was his second... But we, and he would come for... Jer- and, and, and we start laughing and I'll say, welcome to the team. So yeah. I get to the police station. I'm arrested. When they nick me, I get nicked on GBH section 18. I ring home. And I, I ring, I'm in there hours, yeah? I remember, I've got, I've got all the footage, right? They think they've got the footage, but I've got the footage. So I'm laying there quite happy in my cell. I'm worrying, thinking I can't move because they're going to come in at any time, realising they haven't even got the, they haven't got the cards, the memory stick cards. My mate then goes, my, I bring home, speak to my wife, and she says, you're getting remanded. I said, what do you mean I'm getting remanded? I give him a slap. I give him a slap because he spat in my face. I can't be getting remanded. She goes, he's got a broken leg. I was like, what? She goes, yeah, you're getting done GBH section 18. And then, it, and then I was like, oh, no, man. Not, not and then when I got to interview, 
they interviewed me and he says I called him a non-binary fag. Yeah? So I'm nicked on a hate crime. So I think I'm now on a hate crime and a GBH section 18. But I'm still thinking it's all right. I've got the footage yeah, mm. that proves I didn't say any of this. It shows him spitting my face. It shows me giving him a couple of clouts, which is self-defense. So I'm thinking all this. So anyway, I get out of the police station. I get released. I don't get remanded. When, when they interview me, I, I, I said, listen, I said, if you remind me, I said, the footage, which you don't have, because it's up there. And they said, where's the footage? I said, it's up there. <laughs> I, didn't call him, I didn't call him anything, yeah? And he spat in my face. So if you're born and put me in jail, you're just going to look like absolute clowns. I said, because whilst I'm in jail, the footage is going to get released, which shows that I was the victim, yeah? Mm. And this clown's lied to you, right? So they give me bail. And then when I get, when I get home, I get the stick, I ring my mate, I get the stick, and um, I put the stick in, and it's blank. And then I'm literally, and my, my wife knew, because she was just, I, I literally, I got emotional, because I thought, I'm fucked. I'm on a GBX 16. 